a perfect example of using, let's say, a ribbon microphone, which is one of my favorite types of microphones, is Michael Jackson's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. The bottle percussion that's a huge part of the sonic image of Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, at first when I thought about it, oh boy, this is going to be very difficult to do because the glass bottles, and they were being played with with uh, metal strikers and wooden drumsticks and so on. It's going to have a tremendous transient peak, and it's going to make the recording very difficult to do. So I thought, aha, ribbon microphone. A ribbon microphone is not able to trace all of that transient response. Its response is perhaps more like that of the human ear. So I used my RCA ribbon mics on on the uh, bottle percussion in Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, and it, the result is, well, you can listen to it. Anybody can listen to that and until it makes an incredible sonic image. It's very clear, and it is very loud in the recording. You couldn't do that with a condenser mic. glass bottle percussion that's in that recording was all recorded with these microphones. I had two RCA 44s and two RCA 77s. I'll show you a 77. This is an RCA 77 DX. This is a vintage ribbon microphone and very much the same as this one but a little bit different. Less proximity effect, but very wonderful to use with, with uh, uh, percussion instruments. One problem with the vintage ribbon mics, though, is that they're quite fragile. And by that, I mean they don't take any abuse at all. You don't want to go testing because you can just about destroy a wonderful mic like this. There are a couple little tricks though. If you see this mic from the side, okay, the ribbon is actually suspended in this plane here. And what I found out years ago is if you have the mic like this, in other words, in an absolutely vertical position, the, freak, the high frequency response is pretty much up to spec. But if you want to add a little bit of high frequency boost, all you do is tilt the mic this way. And what happens is gravity puts a little bow in the ribbon, tightens it up, and adds about 3 dB at 10 kilohertz. 